How many ripe super hot chilies can you get from a single chili plant that you started in the same year? That is what Pepper Geek and I decided to have a little bit of a competition about in the beginning of 2023. This here is my beautiful Dorset Naga plant. It isn't as tall as I thought it would get, but it's certainly massive. And we have one last harvest to get from this, and we're gonna do that in this video. We have loads of ripe pods in here, and yeah, quite a bit of work ahead of me. But the Dorset Naga, I've been really pleased with this plant. Like I said earlier, it's not as tall as I wanted. The last one that I grew last year, it pretty much got up to the ceiling here. But this one here is spread out wide rather than tall. And that's probably because it's just been so heavy with pods that it's kind of weighed it down a bit. And yeah, you can see quite a few ripe pods in here still. Some nice sized ones. There are some small ones as well. But you know, some beauties on here. And we've still got a lot of green. But today's video, I think, will be the final one. Oh, that's an absolute beauty. Check at that. I haven't picked all of them. There still are quite a few smaller ones and, and also some decent sized ones in here. But uh, as far as I know, Pepper Geek has already conceded defeat. So there's no real point in me absolutely stripping this plant. But yeah, there's some really nice sized ones in there. And that really goes down to the change in feeding that I did about halfway through the season. And I'll talk about that in a future video if that's something you want to learn about. Happy to do it. I wanted to also just show you something else. So obviously we have another plant. I started this halfway through the season. This here is a soil-based plant in a 60 liter pot because the one that I was just picking from, that's, uh, that's in hydroponics. But you can see there's still some beautiful pods on here and they're ripening up, but I haven't picked any of these. Uh, these I'm going to be making another sauce out of. But yeah, just to show you, this plant has done okay. Definitely not as big as the hydroponics one, but some beautiful pods in there as well. Yeah, actually quite a few under there. They seem to hide under the foliage. One, two, three, four. I've got some help from some chickens. Hello, Mrs. Chicken. 100. Now I've got help from two chickens. <laughs> uh, 101, 102, 103, 106, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, so that's 174 chilies. I'm going to add that to my other count and I'll give you a total up on the screen. I had such a lot of fun doing this. I absolutely love growing these monster chili plants. Um, each time I do it, I learn something new and it just makes me want to do it again next year and improve, get an even bigger plant. Uh, definitely learned a lot of things this year, especially doing this hydroponically. So next year I'm quite confident I can get an even bigger plant with a bigger harvest. And yeah, maybe we open it up to more people to join in and have some fun with us. I know there already are quite a few people this year that have been growing alongside us. Uh, Pepper Guru, amazingly huge plant that he has. Absolute monster. Um, very keen to see what he ends up with in terms of his pod count at the end of the season. But yeah, that's an absolute beast. Go check that out. And Pepper Geek, thank you so much for joining in with this. It's been awesome. And uh, yeah, we'll have to work out when we do that live stream so you can do the losers forfeit. Um, 
yeah, we'll see when we get that done. Probably in the next month or two. Hopefully you still have some ripe pods that you can do it with. So next year, might open this up again. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below if you're keen on joining in. I am going to have seeds for the Dorset Naga uh, back in stock. I actually have some stock already in my seed store, but I'm going to have more seeds in stock there very soon if they do run out. So keep checking back and there's a bunch of other seed varieties that I'm putting in there very soon. So again, chilichumpseeds.com, go check it out. Loads of amazing ones. Also, the Chili Chum Seed Kit for 2024 is, I'd say, 75% done. We have two varieties that I'm still deciding on. So four varieties are decided, two more to go. And yeah, I think you guys are gonna have fun with it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, stay spicy.